not all files are what they seem. Malware authors often disguise their creations by changing file extensions, but the file header tells the real story. Today, we're diving into how file headers work, how they're analyzed, and how they expose hidden threats. Every file has a header, a small section of data at the beginning that defines its format. This header tells the operating system how to handle the file, whether it's an image, document, or executable, even if an attacker renames AXE file 2. JPG, the header remains unchanged, revealing its true nature. Security analysts use tools like hex editors, forensic software, and Yara rules to extract and analyze file headers. By examining the first few bytes, they can determine the file type, even if the extension has been altered. One of the most common file formats used by malware is the portable executable format. PE files include .exe, .dal, and .sys files, all structured with headers that define their contents. Malware authors often rename PE files to .txt, .png, or .pdf to evade detection, but security tools can still identify them by analyzing their headers. Let's look at a real-world example. A malware sample disguised as invoice.pdf is actually a PE file. By opening it in a hex editor, we see the MZ header, which is a signature of Windows executables. This simple trick fools users, but security tools can uncover the deception. To detect hidden malware, organizations should analyze file headers instead of relying on extensions. Use Yara rules to flag suspicious PE files. Monitor file execution behavior to catch renamed threats. File headers don't lie. While attackers may disguise their malware, forensic analysis reveals the truth. Stay informed, stay secure, and always verify your files.